Well, first of all, I will suggest you try our machacado con huevo. It's our main breakfast dish. If you are in a diet, you can have the spinachs, but they are not as good as our machacado. <laughs> and also, please, coffee for all. We really need it because it's gonna be a great day today. Let me talk to you about Nuevo Leon, especially for the people that I met for the first time. We have been having some gatherings. We just celebrate our midterm. In Mexico, governors are six years term. And in the 4th of October, we celebrate our third year anniversary. So we are just in the middle. And we are very excited. In, in the US, they call it a Union Inform. For us, it's nuestro informe. All the month of October, we will try to inform our people what we have been doing and what is coming next. So for us, it's very important because obviously of all the subjects, the government is responsible. Economy in Nuevo Leon is the best, not only of Mexico, but of America Latina. Number one on employment, number one on foreign investment, number one on formality, number one in exports, etc. So that's why we usually said and, and we support it that this is the best place to invest. And your investment today is a, a show off for, for Nuevo Leon that we are in the correct path and that the most important companies worldwide like yours are choosing Nuevo Leon to make your products. And that's why in these three first years, we make huge investments on logistics, on security and safety, and obviously on the labor force. That is very important for the companies to take decisions. And I want to, to talk about that today that you just arrived so you can plan together with the government on how we can help you and facilitate your construction, your product ensembling, and your exports. So first of all, uh, Nuevo Leon, our geographic location is one of our top trees and we are just half an hour from the border. We have many borders we can use, Reynosa, Laredo, Bronzeville, but we usually suggest that you can approve and know our border that connects with Texas is called Colombia. The 23rd of October, we're gonna make an event with US federal officers to promote a second border in Nuevo Leon in Colombia because we are nowadays the second most important border but the, fa the fastest and safest. <laughs> we have been making six new highways, we already finished four and we, we do all these constructions and, and highways for the companies like yours to be very well connected to your market that we know is gonna be in first time or at first instance, the US. And also in security matters, we know there's a lot of noise about Mexico, but believe me, Mexico is a very big country where 130 million people, a lot of regions, and the region between Coahuila and Nuevo Leon is very safe. U.S. Embassy uh, gives us green light for investment, for security, 
And we are one of the few states of Mexico that we are not having troubles with companies, merchandise, and productivity. We have a very good and nice ecosystem. And what we did these three years was to border Nuevo León and make in every entrance, in every highway, at least one police barrack with at least 300 police enforcement officials, which are the best of Mexico, with their helicopters, with their heavy equipment. So you can be very safe that if you are installed in Nuevo León and using our highways, you will not have any trouble. And if any case, you will have the state supported since the first minute. So having connections and security checked, the best thing that we can offer is our people. We have the best universities. Although we have four well-known, we have more than 150 universities in Nuevo León. We estimate to graduate in this six years term more than 870,000 professionals, many engineers, and most of them obviously knowing English uh, systems, comp uh, computer apps, etc. So we're going to make a special team for what you need to hire with a lot of time. We can anticipate and give you all these credentials and all these skilled people to, to be taken into account. And obviously, for, for Nuevo León, having a company like yours, we can talk also about giving you the opportunity to install a research and development facility with a free uh, land owning in our pit. We have a big space of land very close to the airport. And we usually invite big companies to install an office or a research and development so you can exchange with our universities that they are inside these pits for transfer of technology, for information, and, and many projects, especially automotive, electromobility, and obviously tech and app companies. So you will see from today on that you will have the full support of our government, that you are going to expand very soon, because I really, I cannot bet as a governor. <laughs> but really, everyone that comes to Nuevo León, everyone, we have not seen one company that comes and leaves. Everyone comes. They start assembling, and one or two years later, they are expanding or doubling or tripling. And many times, they bring their corporates, they bring their biggest factory. We have like six examples of companies that started only with a facility, and now they have the headquarters here in, in Nuevo León. And you can feel at home, we will try to give every facility we will have a special team for federal topics, gas, electricity, energy, and also a great relation with our mayor in Cienega. We just talk about making bigger highways and constructions. Let me tell you that we were gonna, we were gonna make a highway. It was already in the plans, but it passed through Volvo new facility. So now we are trying to move it. So it helps and it, it doesn't bother you. But at the end, and finally, for us it's very important that just in our half term, we give this big announce, it's gonna be the biggest in this year, or is the biggest until October the biggest investment, and we love that it's automotive because it's our main course and our DNA, the automobile sector. 
and especially if you're going to produce electric hybrid or new kind of low carb and low emissions, it's a great message worldwide that Nuevo Leon is receiving not only the best, but the cleanest companies in the world. So that's why we're very enthusiastic. And we're going to go together in a, in a Volvo truck to the to Cienega, right? We're going in a bus and then taking a bus. Yes. Yeah. Electric. Electric. electric one. Perfect. Then please enjoy and feel at home. Thank you. Talk you about about Nuevo Leon in the expansion of the city that you will see today in in Cienega de Flores. On on our side, the the city of Monterrey is now the second biggest city of Mexico. We were not the most populated cities. But the truth is that with the, with the NAFTA treaty, Nuevo Leon started growing a lot. We have been growing at least for 30 years and never have a strike. The ecosystem is fabulous. And obviously, all this grow, grew, grew, sorry, it's been very, magnetic for people to come, to buy their home, to study and to work in Monterey. Monterey City uh, hosts 92% of our state. So we have all the people living in the city. And 10 years ago, we were 4 million people. Now we are 6.2. So we grow 50% in 10 years. And obviously our city expanded almost that double. We used to have only seven metropolitan cities. Now we have 18. And obviously what we call the periphery, the outside of the city, is where the big companies are investing the most, especially because of the land space and also because of the land uh, costs. So for our government, a, a very big challenge is that the city is expanding and all the services, the routes, the highways, the electricity, we have to be parallel, growing with the population. In the city that you choose, that is Cienega, four years ago, we consider it a rural area where we have ranches and cattle. Now it's an industrial city, but this is very, very soon. We have two or three years having this Imagine a, a new gap for the city expansion. So that's why we have a lot of projects that are gonna come in, that are gonna come on in the next years. You can maybe see traffic or highways that are not enough, but it's in the plans of the state and federal government to develop this part of the city especially Cienega neighbors, that it's Suasua, El Carmen, and Salinas Victoria. It's, a, it's the new north side of the city. It used to be Escobedo, now it's Cienega. And we're having a lot of plans to connect the Laredo Highway to the Colombia Highway to the Periferico, that is our loop. So maybe, in the next months, you will see congestion. But it's because we are making the routes and you have to close sometimes uh, the, the lanes of a highway or completely uh, 
close a highway to make a distributor, but always feel free to ask when it's going to be ended, when it's going to be finished. And, and let's try to make a timeline that meanwhile your construction, we can make the highways. So once you are able and you are ready to start, you have everything ready and finished. The, the north part of the city is the one who's getting the biggest investment because from Monterey, you make an hour and a half to the US. From Cienega, you make one hour. And if it's a trip uh, through Nuevo Leon that we have no filters and anything bothering, you're gonna be in, in Laredo, Texas. In five minutes, we cross the border. The old traditional borders, you can last four or five hours. In, in, with us, being Volvo, a company of Nuevo Leon, we can make a pre-clearance, talk to the US, CBP people, and then the revisions are gonna be double and adjust to cross very fast. We are really crossing 10, 15 minutes, the companies of Nuevo Leon. So you're gonna be exporting in three hours at last. And for, for you, that's very important for making money and, and business is business, right? So any route, any highway, electric topics, feel free to ask so we can get them ready as soon as possible before you get the factory done and then everything is very smooth and very easy to, to produce. So if, if there's no more topics, I think we have to arrange the, yes. our trip to the land. And I noticed we had some minutes, right? So welcome to Nuevo Leon again. And I'm ready to drive the Volvo truck. <laughs> Thank you very much.